We often build scripts to perform special purpose filtering operations in reports and summary lists. For illustrative purposes, we built this script which looks for open incidents with the category of inquiry and subcategory of email. We can apply this script in a filter for the list of incidents as shown here. However, we cannot apply this script in the condition logic found in the Checklist Pro create, edit, and close conditions because of cross-scope runtime permission restrictions. We will demonstrate this error message by creating a Checklist Pro configuration that attempts to create a checklist based on the same filtered condition logic as we did initially. Because we have configured our Checklist Pro formatter to be on the incident table, opening an incident record runs the create condition logic to determine if the checklist should be created and results in the error message. The error message can be dismissed and normal operation of the incident application can continue, but our checklist will never appear because of this error. To allow for special purpose scripts to be used in Checklist Pro application, we must make use of ServiceNow's extension points, allowing for scripts to be invoked during create, edit, and close conditions. First, a developer will need to build an extension point. We will go to the extension point table, open the Checklist Pro extension point, and click Create Implementation to build our extension based on the Checklist Pro template. The Checklist Pro template provides three callback functions, one for create, one for edit, one for close conditions. We will build one for creating checklists that will check for open incidents with a category of inquiry and a subcategory of email. After saving this, we'll go into Checklist Pro and change our configuration such that our new extension point script is used. We will enter the name of the extension point script. Notice the logic tech check to make sure a correctly specified Checklist Pro extension point is listed. Once we enter the name of the extension script, the ability to choose the extension point configuration appears in the Create, Edit, and Close condition tabs below. We will apply our extension to create condition, activate and save the configuration, then return to our incident table and test it out. We will open an existing incident. Notice the scope error message no longer appears. Next, we'll change the category and subcategory to make sure they match the conditions and you have your checklist created.